So Pokimane has officially announced that she is retiring from Twitch and you guys are not going to believe the reason why. So let's just get right into it. So the other day Pokimane went super viral over on Twitter because she tweeted out that pretty much she was done with Twitch. She tweeted out saying, the end of an era. Twitch has been my home for a decade, but it's time to say thank you for all the memories and love during my League, Fortnite, and Among Us days. This was of course some pretty big news. Not only is Pokimane like one of the biggest Twitch streamers on the entire platform, like she has 4 million followers and like a bunch of active subscribers, you know those tier 3 guys, you know what I'm talking about. But literally in the picture she showed, she's literally like, I don't know, she's uninstalling the Twitch app, but there's literally a picture of her on the front screen screen on the app store so Pokimane is literally the face of twitch it kind of came out of nowhere too like this wasn't coming from anything but yeah she announced that she was officially done with twitch and of course this was a major blow to twitch too because they didn't make her the face of twitch for no reason of course they're making a ton of money off Pokimane being on the platform whether that be from all the tier 3 subs that are subscribing to her that twitch takes a cut from or she's probably getting some of the biggest donations on the entire Entire platform and I'm sure you guys can uh, guess why people are donating to Pokimane but of course they take a large sum of that so they decided to make her the face of the platform of course because she was making them a ton of money but another reason why is of course a lot of people see Pokimane as like super squeaky clean you know brand safe image however if you look into Pokimane for more than just like five seconds you'd know that it's absolutely not true and the past controversies she's been in have been some really terrible things whether that be the trying to remove sponsors from it's a gundam here on youtube or abusing the copyright system here on youtube at first i was really surprised that yeah she was still the face of twitch but when you really think about it and, and all the donations money that she's probably getting it starts to make a lot more sense and then twitch responded to her tweet by saying what an incredible journey we're so proud of what you've accomplished and what's ahead for the future you'll always have a place here on twitch and of course they're saying that because they're losing a gigantic revenue split for them but of course because this tweet was kind of out of nowhere people were really debating on whether Pokimane was either going to retire or was she moving platforms and I gotta say if you guys think Pokimane was retiring I mean I don't know who you guys think Pokimane is but of course she wasn't retiring only 18% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel don't be part of the 81% subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose and then of course all the people you know the conspiracy theorists come out and say oh she's actually apparently moving to to kick.com if you don't remember a couple months back pokimane was actually flaming cake because it's pretty much being kept alive by like gambling and so that's not a good thing and so of course you know all these people with these crazy sources you know apparently they know the janitor from the kick.com you know website and they gave them some insider information but people were just believing it with absolutely no information to back it up this one tweet said pokimane is reportedly set to be signing a 75 million dollar streaming deal with kick whoa 75 million dollars they really just pull numbers out of their ass if we're gonna be completely honest and i mean i guess i kind of understand the number because it sounds like that a hundred million dollars that they paid to xqc does sound to be real so i guess 75 million dollars for pokimane seems kind of reasonable but someone quoted the tweet by saying lmao no way she complained about gambling on twitch 24 7 just to switch to a site owned by a gambling company and that had close to a hundred thousand and likes with over 11 million views and you know what as much as i'm always down to criticize pokimane she's made a lot of mistakes in the past and something that i think a lot of people don't take into account is every time she makes a mistake and then therefore apologize for it she has later come out and pretty much taken back the apology and pretty much showed that she was just fake apologizing and so that's one of the reasons i really don't like her but in this instance i'm going to have to you know be on the defense of pokimane mean of course she wasn't going to sign with don't get me wrong 75 million dollars to sign on an exclusive you know streaming deal that's crazy money even for pokimane but i just i wouldn't believe she'd do this and it looks like it finally got cleared up that no of course she wasn't going to be signing with kick.com you know the gambling site she's actually apparently moving to youtube really shouldn't surprise anyone but i think the real reason that it surprised me was the reason she gave for moving we're talking about why I'm not re-signing with Twitch. 
100% a choice that I'm making for myself and for my long-term career growth. It's time for me to be free as a bird. <laughs> I'm gonna be gaming until I'm literally 80 in a rocking chair playing TFT on my phone. But me and Twitch, hello, we're two separate things. <laughs> it sounds like Pokimane's main reasoning for moving to YouTube was to apparently grow her audience, which definitely comes as a surprise to me because not only does she already have 4 million followers over on Twitch, which is pretty substantial. Like she's one of the, like I said, she's one of the biggest Twitch streamers on the platform, but she has millions of followers across, you know, other platforms. But I guess maybe Pokimane wanted to come over to YouTube to become one of those more household names of like content creators whether it be like markiplier or pewdiepie that kind of thing you know these people with tens of million subscribers you know that's kind of what she's going after however i think pokimane is going to have to really change up her content if she wants to do any of those big numbers she's talking about look at mr beast what he's doing on youtube there's a reason this guy has you know 150 million subscribers or however many he has now you know he's doing crazy stuff he's blowing up you know piles of money with tanks and all this crazy stuff of course people are going to watch that but be serious be honest how many new people are going to become pokimane fans that are just going to sit there and watch her react to videos while she eats her lunch i mean let's just be completely honest now don't get me wrong she could be doing new and cool things but i somewhat highly doubt it considering after she announced her move to youtube like right now she's actually just about to do her first stream on youtube but it looks like it's just going to be her pretty much streaming exactly Exactly what she streamed over on Twitch and I don't think there's much of an audience there on YouTube for the same kind of stuff she was doing on Twitch there's been a lot of major Twitch streamers like in particular myth I think about TSM myth who have moved over to YouTube with exclusivity rights and have completely fallen off and so who knows that might even happen to Pokey I find it somewhat hard to believe that if Pokemon doesn't switch up her content uh, she's gonna grow any amount of her audience over on YouTube over on Twitch, she was still averaging like 15 to 20,000 viewers, which is a ton, don't get me wrong. But right now, there's like 10 minutes before her first YouTube stream. And currently, like right now, I'm looking at it, there's around 2,000 people waiting to watch her new stream, okay? And I understand it's going to take a while to build up her audience on YouTube, but seriously, how many more viewers does she think she's gonna get i just i don't really understand the thought process about it and of course a lot of people were speculating why she might have not re-signed re with twitch other than the reason she actually said herself and ludwig actually came out with a really good video detailing why she might be moving and let's take a look at that I also dropped this an update to several streamer payout programs now, i saw some people talk about this as if it was a good thing they basically expanded the partner plus program which is allowing people to get a 70-30 split. And before they had a 100K cap on that 70-30 split, they removed that cap. They also snuck in a change to the Prime Gaming uh, subscription payout model. And this one's pretty fucking huge. I feel like people didn't talk about this enough. They've changed it, so now when somebody gives you a Prime sub, it is a fixed rate, depending on where in the world you got your Amazon Prime membership. So if you're a North American streamer and you have someone from the U.S. uses a Prime, you now get a flat $2.25. When I streamed on Twitch, it would just count as a sub. So if I got a Prime, I would get 70% of that sub, $3.50. So yeah, it sounds like she might be making a significant less amount of money over on Twitch now that they changed the sub split up a bit. And that could definitely be a big reason she moved. I think there could be a lot of problems with this move to YouTube. In particular, you know, a lot of her content is, you know, that kind of reaction content. And regardless of what you think of that, the, the rules about reaction content on Twitch versus YouTube are very different and Pokemon has in the past pretty much made known that she doesn't understand the copyright rules on YouTube falsely abusing the copyright system to take down a video from Boblax if you guys remember that but situations like that are definitely something that I think Pokemon probably needs to be a little more concerned about but that's just my thoughts on this situation you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments the other day we actually covered the video on verbal ace on how he spent $50,000 on a video where he gets seduced in an animated music video. This is a crazy video you're not going to want to miss. Click here to watch it now.